Hello students, so we are discussing KVPY 2020 SA Physics section part 1 and we are now looking at 12th question of physics section which becomes question number 27 of the paper. So this question is based on uh, projectile motion. The question says that a performer throws an apple towards a hoop held at 45 meter height by another performer. Uh, so this is the hoop and the this is the horizontal distance given to us as 25 meter and this is the vertical distance given to us as 45 meter so a person targets this hoop and throws an apple or a ball i think an apple and at the same time the hoop is being released so the hoop will begin to fall down the apple will not go on the straight line trajectory it will probably uh, it would have followed up trajectory somewhat like this but when the hoop would be somewhere here the apple would pass through the hoop okay this is a very common example like uh, there is one such question in uh, the very popular book concepts of physics part one at Sivarma, where uh, you know a, a monkey was climbing from maybe a tree trunk and the monkey releases the tree trunk and at the same time a hunter fires a bullet towards the monkey and uh, the bullet still hits the monkey because this is what happens you know you aim at something uh, directly towards something and if you shot uh, a bullet or if you throw the apple or the stone directly aiming at this body uh, the body if the body is released at that very instant then the two hit and why does that happen because uh, to understand this uh, this was having an acceleration of g in the downward direction even this uh, apple or bullet or whatever it was it was having an acceleration in the downward direction which is also equal to g so what happens is that uh, their relative acceleration becomes zero which means that their relative velocity becomes constant so uh, in frame of the hoop if the ball was thrown with a certain velocity towards itself then because the relative velocity is zero the path of the bullet will appear to be a straight line when seen from the hoop and so this uh, apple is supposed to pass through the hoop okay so now then with this thought in mind let's solve this question so this distance will be half gt square as it was free fall here t is the time after which the apple passes through the hoop okay and uh, this 25 meter uh, we can calculate we can uh, write the equation as 25 is equals to v naught cos theta into t now there's something important that we should pay attention to that we have uh, we know this vertical distance this is 45 meter we know the horizontal distance this is 25 meter so we are in a position to calculate the value of tan theta okay if i do the calculation here tan theta will come out to be 45 upon 25 which is like 9 by 5 and once you know the value of tan theta you can readily calculate the value of sin theta as well it will come out to be 9 divided by root of 106 and cos theta it will come out to be 5 divided by root of 106 so we are uh, aware of the value of sin theta cos theta tan theta so using this value we can substitute the value of v naught here we can substitute the value of cos theta here we will get the value of t okay so the t the value of t would be 25 divided by 24 into cos theta cos theta was 5 divided by root of 106 so this is time after which the who uh, the apple passes through the hoop now the hoop falls a height of half gt square so the height above the ground that is what has been asked in the question this height can be calculated very easily by i write it here so h is 45 minus half gt square so we have to just finish this calculation here so 45 minus half let's consider gs10 and t square will become uh, let's cancel few things here it will become 5 so 5 into 5 into 106 divided by 24 into 24 so we have to finish this calculation on doing that we will get that this number is approximately 23 which means that the answer that we are going to get is close to 22 okay so uh, out of the given option i think b option will match closest with the uh, uh, with what the, uh, the value that we are getting after finishing the calculation so b would be the right answer so I hope you understood this question guys and uh, if you have come across that question from Etsy Verma that I just uh, spoke of, most probably you would have done this question also. 
and uh, if you found this concept new guys think about this think about the situation think about the fact that relative acceleration was zero and hence the path should appear as a straight line and install this idea in your brain so that next time when you come across such a question you should be able to do this all the best guys i'll see you in the next question now